Hello my wolf pack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Capacity Guide video. So today we're covering Archeops. Archeops is a pretty cool Pokemon. Base 140 attack, base 112 special attack and base 110 speed is absolutely incredible. Its defenses are very low though and also its ability is potentially one of the worst abilities if not the worst ability in the game. So uh, unfortunately Archeops does not have much going for it. But before we get started today I have come up with free sets, free, hopefully quite fantastic sets, and I've got a couple of ideas on how you can get around the defeatist. But before we get started, if you could scroll down just that little bit, click that like button, and also subscribe to this video if you haven't already. It really helps me out, helps me get to a thousand subscribers, which I'm really hoping to push to, and hopefully we will make it there before the end of the month. Okay, back to Archeops. Now, the first set I've got is a Citrus Berry set, and I've also got Roost on here. Roost is a transfer-only move, so you would have to bring it in from a previous generation. Um, Roost allows you to heal up and keeps you out of that yellow range, because uh, yellow, basically, if you're less than 50% HP, you have your half, half your... <sighs> Let's try that again. When you have less than 50% of your HP, you have 50% uh, of your attack and your special attack, which uh, honestly, it makes you a lot weaker. But 379 uh, halved is like 190, uh, which really is not a very high attack stat at that point. So having that Citrus Berry hopefully will take you out of that situation at least once. And then also you've got the Roost there to allow you to heal yourself up. Uh, hopefully whilst another Pokemon is doing some different moves, for example. Or a switch, for maybe. Move-wise, I've gone for Earthquake, powerful ground-type attack, and hits a lot of different Pokemon. Acrobatics, which is really good when that Citrus Berry is burned because it doubles in power. And obviously with your massive attack stat, boosted by stab by the flying, um, it will do a lot of damage. And then finally we've got Stone Edge, which is a powerful rock-type attack, hits a lot of different Pokemon um, as well. It does have the chance to miss, do be very cautious of that. Now EVs come for max attack and max speed with a jolly nature, so more speed, less special attack, and four EVs and special defense. I think the best way to run Archeops is if it's in a double scenario where you have a skill swap on a Pokemon. So for example, if you somehow manage to skill swap a huge power onto it, it would be absolutely incredible. It would kill basically everything. Uh, but you could also skill swap any ability onto it except Truant. Um, which would make it better and you've also got simple beam simple beam could potentially work as well Just to allow you to get rid of that defeatist now You're not going to be setting up anything with Archeops because it doesn't really have anything to set up But you'll just get rid of that defeatist which automatically makes it ten times better Moving on to the second Archeops here now This one is not worrying about your attack or your special attack at all So we're not worrying about our defeatist in this uh, set We've got heavy juicy boots on here to stop you from taking any damage from hazards. You can also go for leftovers if you would prefer to. Obviously, heavy juicy boots. Uh, I believe rock is resistant to rock, so that would allow for you uh, to only take 12% damage from the stealth rocks. I, I'm not sure off the top of my head. Uh, if you let me know down in the comments, or if I, I might have commented down below. Uh, I just can't remember if rock takes neutral damage from rock. I have a feeling it doesn't, but at the same time, it might do, and it might just be like ground. I know that ground resists it. I'm not sure if rock does. So it might take 25%, it might take 12%, is what I'm trying to say from stealth rocks. On here, we've also got Roost. Roost is a transfer only move, so we have to transfer an Arche Archeops from a previous generation with Roost already taught to it. We've got Defog to get rid of any hazards. Now, obviously, hazards can be a huge problem for a lot of different teams. Getting rid of those, uh, especially on a Pokemon like Archeops, where when it goes down, it's not the worst thing for your team. But that Defog allows for you to get rid of hazards. Tailwind allows you to double the speed of your team for four turns. You can then manage to switch out and get a different Pokemon in. And finally, we've got Knockoff, which is a powerful uh, dark type attack in the sense that it double, well, it's 1.5 times the power when it hits a Pokemon that has an item and it gets rid of that item. Now, most Pokemon become a lot more scary when they have their item on them and getting rid of it can be really helpful, especially if you think you're going to have like a Flame Orb Concelda switch in. You can hopefully do that knockoff, get rid of that Flame Orb before it activates and that Concelda is not going to activate its guts. It's not going to be anywhere near as scary. It still will be scary, but not anywhere near as much. EVs gone for max HP, max Speed with a jolly nature, so more speed, less special attack, and four EVs in attack. That just allows for you to hopefully live as many hits as you can. 
And finally, I have gone for a Dynamax set. So on here, I've actually gone for Leftovers. I think Leftovers might be your best option because it does allow for you to have that little bit of recovery every turn. Uh, and having that Defeatist hopefully staying out of that category. Oh, sorry, that, that less than 50% HP. So Rock Smash is on here. Rock Smash, again, is a transfer only move, so you would have to transfer it from a previous generation, unfortunately. Uh, but if you wanted to get around this, you could try and go for Weakness Policy, although, again, that is very risky because that would just take you basically back up to uh, what your stats would normally be. If you could have that with, like, Roost, that would work quite nicely for you also. I'm um, just think, spitting out some ideas here as well. So if you can get that Rock Smash, you can get Max Knuckle, increasing up your attack stat by one stage. Door Wing Beat increases up your speed by one stage using Max Airstream. Now that can allow you to outspeed uh, just a couple more Pokemon, which can be uh, problematic. We've got Steel Wing, which turns into Max Steel Spike, increasing up your defense. And then Rock Slide, which is a powerful uh, ground, not ground, rock type attack. It can set up the uh, sandstorm just in case you want to get some chip damage on there now i'm pretty sure it does learn earthquake as well uh, so you could go for earthquake and have that max uh, quake on there if you want to to have uh, that increasing your special defense as well uh, difficult to run uh, as a dynamax set i'm going to be honest it is going to be difficult to run as a dynamax set but this is what i could come up with it uh, obviously that defeatist if you can get the defeats off it in doubles match uh, then definitely do that. Ar Archaeops becomes a lot more scary at that point. EVs got max attack and max speed with a jolly nature, so more speed, less special attack, and four EVs in special defense. Anyways, that is all for today, so I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of here, so have a good one, and I'll see you soon.